gonna be a long one. Hi guys, what's up, it's Bella. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. If this is your very first time seeing me, literally so excited to have you here today. I am gonna be doing a Sephora haul. Not just a Sephora haul, it's gonna be a massive, huge, big Sephora haul. Now all of this stuff has been accumulated over the past month and a half. So it didn't all just like happen at once. I'm, I'm not that crazy of a shopper. <laughs> kind of am, but this time, this time it was all like pretty sporadic. See, sporadic means once in a while. So I have two little bags over here that are filled, and then I have another little bag over here, and then <laughs> I have a big bag. Now I previously done two Sephora hauls in the past like two months, so I will link them down below. It's all you know, pretty relevant stuff still. So if you are enjoying Sephora hauls, then definitely check those out down below after you're done watching this one. But I'm really excited to talk about all these products. I have my makeup wipes with me. Oh my gosh, my bag almost fell. So we can swatch some products. I can show you guys the reasons I got some of these products. So if you're excited for this video, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell if you are brand new so you can join the Gorya gang. I post twice a week and I also have a ton of extra videos too. I think you're gonna enjoy my content. I love you guys so much. And yeah, let's go ahead and and, um, get started but first I'm gonna do some subscriber shout outs because I appreciate you guys so much and I just love mentioning you guys' names all right so I'm only gonna mention a few but shout out to Bebe Bebe you know I love you so much you are so consistent with watching my videos and liking and commenting and joining all my lives I have such a love for you so literally thank you so much from the bottom of my heart I love you so much shout out to Anjali Nanda for always watching my videos too I love you so much and I hope I didn't butcher your name shout out to Gray Weaver for being such an OG he is a guy and yeah guys do watch my channel which is pretty awesome so thank you so much for like just watching my videos I actually met him I met a subscriber it was so cool in a Starbucks shop so that was like a very cool experience so shout out to you for coming up to me it was like the coolest thing ever and one more we're gonna shout out Katie Kisten I love how you always comment on my videos it's the sweetest thing ever you're literally so pretty like can we just take a moment to look at your profile picture she just liked the oh my gosh all of her like liked recents are literally me I love that so much I really appreciate that you guys mean literally the world to me so let's go ahead and get started okay so I'm gonna start with this bag right here I have been just having some breakouts lately and it's not appreciative wait it's not it's not appreciated there you go it's just not cool and i don't like it but um so i've gotten some like new skincare in this video you'll see i got quite a bit of new skincare just to try out and some treatments to try i have a skincare video up on my channel my morning and nighttime skincare routine i will throw it up right here and i'll also link it down below if you're interested in seeing that don't get me wrong, still love all those products, but just like to switch it up every now and then, you know? So I picked up the Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment. I think this is like super similar to the Mario Badescu one. Only reason I didn't get the Mario Badescu one is because I was already in support and I didn't want to go back to Ulta. But it's just that like stuff that you like put on a breakout. I don't need anything for acne because I was on Accutane and I have a video on how I got clear skin if you want to watch it. I'll link it down below. So I just thought this was good in case like a little pimple pops up like you know during my month my month of the year <laughs> my day my week of the month is that what people say yeah so i thought i would use it for that and it just it helps a lot it's very fast acting and you just like put it on your little spot and like overnight it's like reduced like majorly so i picked up this from kate somerville freaking love kate somerville skincare so much like her cold foam Cold cream cleanser is so good. I've been using it for over a year to remove my makeup and it's really bomb. Next up in this bag, I got a sample of the Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Clay Cleanser. I don't remember asking for this, but I think the girls just like threw this in my bag. Yay. <laughs> Next up in here, I reviewed the Benefits Cheek Leader um, Bronze Squad Palette, the, the Trio. I'll link it down below if you watch, if you want to see it. But I have been mentioning it in like almost every video since then because I love it so much. And so I was like, okay, since that's the mini, why don't I go ahead and get the big one? Because you guys know face palettes are my favorite thing to buy. Like I just get so much use out of face palettes. I love having... The, I love the idea of having like all of everything like in one palette. It's just it's super easy to do and I love it. And Benefit does have some of my favorite face palettes. So this is the Cheek Leader Bronze Squad. Like I said, I do have the trio of the Bronze Squad. So this is just like the bigger version of it. And wow, look how pretty. 
So, and the one that I have, it has Gold Rush, Hula, and Cookie. So the two extra shades you're getting in this palette is Hula Caramel and Coralie stuff, and you're also getting a brush. And I actually do find that the brushes are really good to use with like bronzer. Like they're not bad brushes. Do I use them all the time? No, but are they bad? No, they're pretty good. Not to mention this palette smells really good. Like I don't know what's in it, but it smells really good. So I'm gonna swatch the highlighter because Cookie, oh, by the way, it has like a really, really nice mirror too. And I just love these face palettes. I have the blue one from last year or the year before, was it? And I've literally Literally, it's, it's, it looks gross because I've used it so much. But the highlighter in here is To Die For Benefit. Did something insane this year, and that was honestly with the highlighter. Like, it's intense. It's on my cheeks right now, mixed with the Olivia Jade and Sephora Collection palette. But wow, I just like... Oh, wow, she's blinding. Like, literally. <laughs> but I love it so much. I freaking love Benefit's face palettes. If I had to recommend like getting a face palette, I would definitely go for Benefits first because they're 60 bucks, but that is not a bad price at all for all the products you get in here. And I have had that blue one that I've ha that I just mentioned for like two years, I think, and it's still good to use and I still use it to this day. So yeah, I picked this up and I also got, I think, oh yeah, I picked up another one for my brother's girlfriend, Nadine, for her birthday because she's not a person who, she's not a person who like likes to wear a ton of makeup. But when she does, she likes to wear bronzer, blush, and highlight. So I thought this was perfect for her. And I know she's going to get really good use out of this because I stayed the night in her dorm one day. One night, not one day. And I woke up and she was like, can I use that? And I was like, yeah, like, let me do your makeup, you know? Like, I want to do your makeup. But she was like, I really love this and I don't have any, like, bronzer, blush, or highlight. And I was like... I got you, this one's so good. <laughs> so I got her this for her birthday as well. All right, next up we're gonna go to this bag to the left of me, to the right of you. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Instantly regretting why I have to be so technical sometimes in life, like what the heck? Okay, so in this bag, okay, this was kind of what sparked the whole idea of doing a Sephora haul. I got this stuff about two and a half, three weeks ago, and it's just been sitting and I haven't really been using any of it. So I've been waiting to do a haul for you guys. First thing in here are the Peace Out Skincare Peace Out Dark Spots. I actually got sent these in PR and I love them so much that I repurchased them with my own money because they're literally so good. I talked about them in a previous haul, but I've already used them up and they help with my dark spots so much. Basically, it's just a little dot and at night after your skincare, you'll stick the dot on your face and just sleep with it on. And yeah, surprisingly, like, it stays on like in the middle of the night, like it's really good. And you wake up and I swear within like one time, like using it, you'll notice like a massive difference in like dark spots are like a lot lighter and they're smoother and it's just really good. So I picked up another pack of these because I truly think that they work so well. And I'm just, I haven't had anything that has sped up the dark spot process more than this and my Derma E Scar Gel. So yeah, I love this so much. So I had to pick up another one. I had to bed in here real quick because I got back from Sephora about three hours ago because I found a gift card in my skincare drawer because yeah, like I just found a gift card. So I was like, I literally gotta go to Sephora now. Also literally said a literally 500 times in this video sorry about it i picked up the beauty blender electric violet beauty blender also got the tatcha luminous dewy skin mask because tatcha is my favorite skincare brand right now and this is my favorite sheet mask tatcha just never fails also picked up the saint tropez 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 gradual tan, gradual tan watermelon infusion it smells just like watermelons i have an obsession with watermelons and yeah so this is just like an everyday lotion and it just helps your you gradually get tan and then the last thing I picked up I mentioned this a little bit like later in the haul but the, I got the darker one later in the haul this is right now I got the lighter one this is in the shade Rio Sunset but it's like um Sol de Janeiro and it's just like a body glow and you put it on your body like when you're wearing shorts or something and it just helps your body look glowier better so I picked up the more champagne one because when I'm super not tan I need a lighter one and this is going to be perfect so yeah, I just wanted to quickly show all of these products before ending or before continuing this haul. So yeah, stay tuned. I love you guys. Next up in this bag, I picked up the Hum Nutrition Daily Cleanse. And this is just like a supplement. And so it helps clear your skin and body from toxins, which I don't really necessarily need for my skin, but it's always good to prevent things. And that is basically what I do with like skincare. Like I use acne stuff sometimes, but it's to prevent acne, not to cure it now. But I've heard Hum is like really good. They're dairy free and gluten free and I'm dairy and gluten free, which is like literally amazing. So I have a couple other Hum ones that are in like my 
my cart that I want to try but I'm gonna first like try this one and see how I like it and yeah it was like $25 and I was using Halo Beauty by Tati for like the longest time and I liked it I didn't notice like the most massive difference and plus it was like double the price almost double the price of this so why not like get something like cheaper and I don't know I just I like trying out different things and I have really high hopes because Michelle at Sephora said that these are amazing and I literally trust Michelle so much, but they're non-GMO, um, sustainably sourced, pure and potent ingredients. And basically, this is just gonna help um, your liver, I can't speak, your liver, your bowel, your kidneys, your lungs, and your lymphatic system and detox and clean your skin from the deep to the inside, down deep to the inside, the outside, what am I saying? But I do believe that beauty starts from within it, so you need to like, you know, eat healthy and all this stuff, and that's what really cures you in a way. Like you can't just be taking supplements and have like a really bad eating habit. So I believe that beauty does start from within, and I love that they stand for that. So I'm excited to try these. Let me know if you guys have tried anything from Hum Beauty. I'd love to know. Next up in here, I have <gasps> this. So you guys know I love Sol de Janeiro so much. They sent me PR a couple weeks ago and I literally flipped out. Like I was shook. But they came out with a new scent. It's called the Coco Cabana. And it, what are the, what am, I don't know what I'm saying. The fragrance notes are coconut caramel, praline, marshmallow, honey, and toasted vanilla latte. Oh my gosh. It's everything and more. I love it so much and it's just the difference. I'm literally looking at my little one, my little Brazilian crush sitting right there. I guess the difference is this is a lot more toasty and not as summery, but it's still so good. Why is my dog barking? Not again. Someone's here. I think it's UPS. I think UPS is here and I need to go see if it's like a package for me, which is like really exciting. I think I ordered some stuff, so I'll be right back. I'm back. I got a package from Urban Outfitters, um, so stay tuned for another Urban Outfitters try on haul. Recently just did one, but uh, yeah, we're doing another one soon because you guys seem to love it and I love it, so let's do it. Anyways, pretty sure I was talking about the spray. Like it literally just smells so good and I like both of the scents. They're both like pretty different. But yeah, got this one. I also picked up the Sol de Janeiro Glow Motions Coco Cabana Bronze Glow Oil. I'm planning to wear a lot of dresses this summer and spring and then, you know, going to college where I'm moving is the place to, you know, wear dresses and stuff like that, like all year round. So I got this to put on my body. This is the darkest shade. It's the second to darkest shade. There's one more shade um, for like really, really deep skin tones. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that because it's not the darkest shade. I was definitely wrong because I went to Sephora today. And I saw that they had a darker one. And I think it'll go like really perfectly with my skin tone. So I'm excited to um, use this. I never got these the first time around because they didn't have a pump. And that was the reason like I didn't want them because they didn't have a pump. But this has a pump now. So I'm excited. <laughs> they had a couple other ones. They had like a purple one, which I really like. But I'd rather be bronzy than purple. But I might have to pick it up just because, you know, it's like my favorite color, purple. <laughs> and then they had like a very, very light champagne one. And then like a more like goldy yellow. Um, These are really pretty. And I swatched them in store and I was like shook. All right. And the last two things in this one, this bag, this bag right here, is this is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I got this because of my friend Paige. And I've used it two times since I got it. And I liked it so far. Like it was pretty darn good. So it looks like this. The packaging is so iconic and it's one of those packaging things where where you pump it and every time you pump it, it goes up so you can know how much you have left, which is super cool. But it's like green. It kind of looks like boogers, like low key. I don't know why, but it's like so pretty. Like the packaging, I really love how clear it is and it looks like futuristic and just super cool. But other than that, like the product is really good. It filled in my pores really nicely, made like a really smooth canvas. It wasn't hydrating by any means, like from what I could tell, like I didn't, I don't know. I didn't notice it being hydrating, but then again, I've only used it two times. So I need to try it more, but so far it's so good and I can't wait to use it more now that it's like gonna be in my makeup collection drawer and not just in here. On the back of it, it says that it has aloe water, cherry blossom, hyaluronic acid, B vitamins to make your skin look healthier. Grip it, which is a shot of blue agave, holds makeup all day for a super fresh finish. That is so cool. So it has blue agave in it. That's like really cool. I put blue agave in my tea at night. So that's really, really cool. If I say cool one more time, I don't even know. And then the Hydro, it has hemp derived cannabis extract, which hydrates to plump and smooth for blissed out skin. So that's really cool. They have really amazing ingredients in this and I have high hopes. Last thing in here, I got the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser, the Daily Foaming Wash. My mom uses this and I've just wanted to switch up my cleansers. I got another cleanser that I'll talk about in a minute, but I use the Fresh Soy Face and I love that so much. It's very, very gentle, but I feel like I just need something like exfoliating. So I picked this up and what's really cool is you would think that like an exfoliator is like really gritty, has a lot of beads in it, but no, this is a lot different. It has papaya, pineapple, and um, pumpkin. Yep, 
which are enzymes and it helps to just cleanse your skin and clear it and exfoliate it so it's not the texture of it that's really gritty because it's actually like super smooth it's the um products and the formula inside of it which is very very nice so it's not like you're scrubbing and it hurts you can scrub as hard as you want and it doesn't hurt really amazing cleanser i've used it twice so far and i really like it like it's pretty good and it just makes my skin look a lot better i've noticed my makeup applies a lot smoother on top of it because i could just have like a clean base with no dead skin so i like this and it doesn't like pull up my skin either there's so many good hits in this haul you guys like seriously and then also in here i got a sample of the biosance squalene and tea tree gel and now that i just said that i think i forgot to talk about this product that was in that bag and i don't know if i talked about it but it's just a moisturizer and biosance is um ewg certified which means like it's non-toxic it's paraben free phthalate free mineral oil free and fragrance free so it's literally everything so i got this moisturizer to try out and i also got another one that i'll talk about in a second but yeah so i got a sample of the tea tree gel to like cleanse my face and i also picked up the moisturizer and i've been using the moisturizer for the past two nights and so far really really good results i love it but i can't remember if i talked about it so yeah all right we have two more bags left so i'm gonna go into this bag right here oh this bag only has two things so in this bag i picked up the glow recipe watermelon glow jelly sheet hydrating and smoothing mask i've gotten this before i got this once and i really liked it so far you guys know i've been obsessed with glow recipe i mentioned them in my current favorites video and a couple hauls before i've just really been loving their skincare and i hope that they come out with like an avocado spray mist because they just came out with a watermelon one and i really love it so i picked up this and yeah i just love hydrating masks sheet masks are like some of my favorite things to do so yeah got this and then i also got the new farsali rose gold skin mist 24 karat gold hydrate prime and set infused skin mist that was a lot i used this today because i remember i had it and i literally almost dropped it but i didn't notice like the biggest difference i just noticed my skin looks like healthier glowier and the thing with me like when i do makeup i personally love like more natural looks so when i can make my skin just look flawless and like i'm barely wearing any, like makeup but i am wearing makeup it's my favorite thing too it's like my favorite look it's just like the no makeup makeup look and it's rare that i'll that i'll ever like stray from that so i picked this up and so far i mean i used it once so i didn't notice the biggest difference but i'm gonna try spraying it under my foundation next and i don't want to spray it because like it was really expensive but i'm gonna spray it because like so i can show you guys the mist it's really nice and fine and it smells just like the rose gold oil which i used for a little bit but then my skin just doesn't really like oil but i love the unicorn essence and i love the skin tune blur and farsali also posted me on their instagram back in december which was like <sighs> breathtaking like they literally posted me on their instagram coolest thing ever so yeah i picked this up and it's like really pretty it's just like another skin mist and you can never have too many skin mists like i just love skin mist yeah <laughs> all right you guys so we're moving on to the last bag which is the biggest bag i'm like so excited <laughs> now the reason I got all of this stuff is because all of this stuff was in my cart well at least most of the stuff was in my cart and then I went into Sephora and I was like well if I don't have to order online I'd rather just you know get it in store so I went into Sephora and they had most of it in store so yeah all right this was not something I was expecting to get because like I said I got the Biosance moisturizer but I've just been trying to switch up my skincare a little bit more and just go to some better things um if that makes sense so i picked up the tatcha dewy skin cream and the only reason i picked up this one and i just got the biosense moisturizer is because the biosense one isn't that moisturizing but i'm gonna start using it every other night i know this is like so extra like you don't have to be this extra with your skincare i'm just a very extra person so i got the dewy skin cream because i love dewy skin i love healthy skin i love glowy skin i just it's so pretty when people have just like glowy skin so yeah the biosense one is really nice and it does everything except like give you that glow but it moisturizes it just doesn't give you that like deep deep glow the tasha came out with this a couple weeks ago i think or maybe it was like last month and i just didn't think anything of it it smells so good and i'm so excited to use it so tasha i have their um what's the other skin cream called it's like the one that's like in a greener packaging oh the water cream i think that's what it's called so i have that from a couple years back and it has this thing at the top so you can like scoop your moisturizer it's super bougie and i'm super bougie and it's like my favorite color you guys like the purple ugh. It's like perfect. Tasha is definitely one of my favorite skincare brands. I also love their, not love their, because I, I love it, but I use it. I use their um, Violet C Serum, and I also use their Violet C Mask, and I love their um, sheet mask too. So basically, like, I'm a huge Tatcha fan, so yeah. But this is what it looks like. It's like a light whipped purple, and basically, I'm going to read you, like, the claims on this. So this smooth cream helps seals in moisture while nourishing botanical extracts and part of a dewy glow, which is literally what I want. So it has an 
Okinawa Algae Blend that helps replenish ceramides for vis visibly plump, supple skin. Literally cannot speak today. Don't know what my problem is. Japanese Purple Rice, which is a strong antioxidant that boosts the skin's natural defense against environmental stressors. And it has Hadai Hadaesi 3, which is a trio of anti-aging Japanese superfoods that reveals healthy looking youthful radiance. I have high hopes for this. I love anything from Tatcha, so I don't doubt that I'm gonna love this. And I've just been really into taking care of my skin lately and doing a lot less makeup. It's just been, you know, I just go through those phases where like sometimes I'm like, well some some weeks and some days I'm like, oh I want like full on makeup and I want to go crazy with my makeup. But then like some weeks I'm like, I want to focus on skin this week and just really embrace my skin. So it just, I don't know, I, I go back and forth. But also really cool thing about Tatcha is everything you buy, I'm pretty sure they donate something um, to someone in need. I think that's their like whole, I'm trying to read it, see if it's on here. Oh my gosh, here it is. Every purchase you make supports girls' education around the world. Tatcha is proud to partner with Room to Red Transform, Transform girls features which is literally amazing so you guys know I love supporting brands who give back like defy wear every pair you buy they give a pair and you know Tatcha like I just I just love when brands give back and I love I love that so I don't know it just it, it hits home and it feels really good to give back while you're actually getting something for you so yeah I picked up the Tatcha moisturizer and I have high hopes and I can't wait to use it more <laughs> and then next up I picked up the buxom power plump lip balm I wanted this a few months ago but they were out of stock and i love this already you guys it's just it looks like this if you guys can see that i know my exposure is like so bright and it's just like a big little chapstick and it adds like a tiny tint of pink but not really it just really embraces like and it enhances your natural lip color but it really plumps your lips and it feels really good and yeah it just it's another lip plumper it's really hydrating too which i really like i also picked up another of my laura mercier translucent powder you guys know this is my favorite translucent powder literally ever and I'm almost out of mine now so I picked up another one I just love this powder because when I set my face with it it's not like matte and it doesn't dry my skin out I can literally bake with this and I have dry skin so I can bake with it and set my whole face with it and I don't look even more dry so I love this powder for that it never makes me look crafty or creasy and it never creases under my eyes I have a feeling that's like to do with my Jouer concealer because my Jouer concealer it doesn't crease under my eyes but I think this has a big part to do with it as well if you haven't tried this you definitely need to try a Laura Mercier translucent powder next up in here I got a sample of the Ola Henriksen face primer you guys know I hauled this a couple weeks back and I didn't like it so I returned it but now that I'm thinking back I think I used a different foundation that day and I didn't end up liking the foundation so I'm thinking it was the foundation not the primer does that make sense so I picked up a sample so I can try it again before I buy it again and return it so yeah I picked up the Ola Henriksen face primer sample I got a couple samples in this video next up in here I got a restock of my Ola Henriksen glow 20 h dark spot toner I have already been through one of these and I love it so much this has helped immensely with dark spots and just the texture and tone of my skin so yeah it smells really good and I've gotten a couple people onto this so this is just like a repurchase of mine and yeah I literally love this so much so good I have this in my cart online but it is the artist couture diamond lip tease in the shade climax and I went in store and I saw that it was there and I was like hey like why why would I order it online like when I can get it now so this is the color I got. It's more of a, it kind of, it's like a gold champagne. It's right there. And it has like a little bit of pink to it, but it's mainly gold. It looks a little bit like more pink in like the tube, but it's, it's a lot more gold. And wow, this is just absolutely stunning. The only thing that like kind of bothers me already, the doe foot is like, well, it's not a doe foot. It's just like the top of the applicator. It's really flimsy. Like it's just, maybe that's good. It makes your lips look so juicy. And Crystal at Sephora said it's like a little bit thick. And it definitely feels a little thick, but it's not like sticky. Like it's not making my lips stick together. And it just like adds like the most pretty shine to your lips. Ooh, my lips feel like 10 times bigger. Oh, but I love this color so much. They have a couple other colors, but this one just like, it's the most natural and it like catches your eye in such a way. I really love it. So um, pick that up. All right, next up I picked up the Hula Benefit Limited Edition Mega Bronzer. This is humongous. Oh my gosh, I never even looked in here to see how big it was. Oh my goodness. This is huge. Look at this brush. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Hula is literally one of my favorite bronzers, like top three, and I use it so much, and that's like one of the reasons I get their face palettes, because I love Hula bronzer so much. So this is like a limited edition giant Hula bronzer, which gives you a natural looking matte bronze, and it includes an oversized brush. Yeah, this brush is huge. Oh my gosh, this pan is huge, and cool thing about this bronzer is that it's not going to be like a super tiny pan, 
And when I say that, I mean, oh my gosh, there's literally a fly in my room. Fly. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh. Anyway, so the original box blush, it's really hard to stick your brush in there without it hitting the sides and going out of the pan because it's so tiny. But this is literally going to fit it. So I had to pick this up because I saw that it was limited edition. It has a mirror. It's such nice packaging and I love... Oh, I love this product so much. I'm literally so excited now. And then next up, I picked up the Glow Recipe. What's well, new? Literally always picking up stuff from Glow Recipe now. Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Clean Gentle Cleanser Makeup Erasing and Deep Cleansing. I was super intrigued by this because everything I've had from Glow Recipe in the past few weeks has worked out so well. It's insane. It's just like... You have that, ever have that feeling like when you get something from one brand and it's like, oh, that's so good, let me try another one. And then you're like, oh, that's so good, let me try another one. And it's just like, it keeps hitting the spot and it keeps like just working for you. That's how I feel about Glow Recipe right now. I'm just like, wow, why haven't I dabbled into this brand before? So, oh my gosh, let's just talk about this packaging. The cutest thing ever. I love how all of their products are like based around like fruits and food. It's just amazing. Something that intrigued me about this was that Michelle was telling me it's used as a cleanser, a makeup remover, and a mask. And it literally says it on the back too. So you can use it for all three. So to cleanse your skin, you dispense a pump uh, onto your palms and then you massage it onto your skin and then you follow with like your skincare regimen. To use it as a makeup remover, you create a lather in your palms, gently massage onto your face with full motions and um, for a full minute and it erases all traces of makeup up and then you rinse and then you follow with your skincare regimen and then to use as a mask you apply a generous layer to clean dry skin after five minutes rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water and then you follow into your skincare regimen so it just intrigued me how something like this can be you know used for all of that so yeah I'm excited I didn't even smell it so let's smell it first that takes me back to something in my childhood. You know, it kind of was like that detangler I used to use when I was younger by Suave. It was like in that green packaging and it had like that person on it or it had like colors on it. It smells so good. And I wonder, like the consistency seems really nice. It seems like super thick because it's not like moving fast like when I tip it over. But I have really high hopes for this. And I'm trying to see like what else is in here. It has hyaluronic acid. It has vitamins and antioxidant rich blueberry extract to help moisturize your skin like a toner for a bouncy, dewy, not stripped or tight feel. That's going to be amazing because I hate when I wash my face and it's like it feels tight and I'm like, like you just like can't move your face. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so excited. Go recipe. I know you're not watching this, but if you are, y'all are killing the game right now and I'm like so proud. Like. That's so cool. All right, you guys, and so the last two things in here are the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I got the berry scent and then the pear. So my reason for getting these two things is, I don't know, you can't really see over there, but on, let me see if I can turn my camera. You see right there, I have like this little thing and it has like my lip, Laneige lip mask in it. This is the tea. I have so many of them, so now I need to like use them up. But I hate having like stick my finger in there and putting it on my lips and then having to go wash my hands and then you have that like Vaseline feeling on your finger. It's just not cool. So they came out with them in a like lip gloss form tube and I just said in a video I think a while back, like three months ago, I was like, I wish they would come out with this in a tube. Oh my gosh, they literally like, they did. That's so cool. I mean, obviously not because of me, but like that's still cool. So yeah, it's just like the same formula, um, but it's now going to be in a tube. Well, I'm pretty sure it's the same formula. Yeah, I think it is the same formula. I'm not really sure, but either way, it's still going to be absolutely amazing. So I picked up the pear one and it just has like a regular lip gloss applicator. Oh, it's thick. Yeah, it feels just like the original. Oh, that smells so good. So I picked up the pear and then I think that the grape one right here is the original smell, scent, taste of the one over there. So let's see. I'll be able to tell you like right away because I love it. It smells like strawberries and bananas. I don't know. This one smells like a little bit different. But maybe it is. I don't know. But anyways, I picked these up because these are like so moisturizing. And so amazing. And I, this is like my prayers are answered. And yeah, Laneige kills it on the lip products. I'm telling you, you use this once and you even use the one on the tub and you wake up and your lips are like mega massive. It's crazy. I can't go a night without using this stuff. So good. So I'm really excited they came out with it in tube because it's a lot easier to use. All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. I know there was a lot of stuff in this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a very, very long video too, but I had so much fun talking about all these products and swatching them and just I don't know showing you guys what I what I bought be sure to subscribe and click that bell if you are brand new so you can join the Gorya gang give this video a like if you ended up enjoying it so I know what content you guys like to watch because I always make content you guys want to see be sure to stick around for my other future videos that are coming up very very soon I love you so much stay positive stay happy stay humble because stay humble you know no matter how good you're feeling or how good life is going you need to stay humble and just remember who you are and your roots where you came from I will see you guys in my very next video and yeah all right bye guys